having all this scientific information mm -hmm. is tremendous. Yeah. I think it's super important to have the scientific information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because whenever you're doing any type of intense training or you are going to go try and do something pretty intense, pretty incredible, let's so to say, you have to say, fuck the science. Yep. You know what I mean? You're going to be like, okay, I'm going to push a threshold here that no scientist is going to say is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like they're going to be like, no, you shouldn't do that. That's dangerous. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it, bud. But to have the information to make sure that you're like, hey, this is where your levels are. This is what's known as to be safe. This is where you can push your body, all this. But then at there's some point you're like, well, I'm going to literally push myself to the point that I might pass out mm -hmm. or I do pass out. Oh, that's not safe. Yeah. Fuck you, dickhead. I don't want it to be safe. I want to see what the fuck I'm capable of doing. Yeah. For you sure. know what I mean? So, but to be able to have this information like this would be able to let you know what you're, where you need to make sure that you're nourished and hydrated, mm -hmm. like how much so you need to be able to, to be able to push that next level. Right. Because whenever you have a grasp on this, if you have a better grasp on this, that'll be able to make you actually let you push you harder. Yeah. You know, because if you don't have a grasp on this, this might be your like your Achilles tendon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. hundred percent. I mean, I, I think about the guys that are like like roofers and construction guys that are out oh, in the dude. sun for 10 hours a day. Oh, dude. And they're degenerates. Bro, well, yeah. And like how like <laughs> I, I actually saw it in the Facebook group. Someone saying, you know, how do you. How do you have energy after a 10 hour laboring day in the sun? How do you have the energy to go to the gym? And dude, most of the time it's, it's what we just talked about with these electrolytes. I mean, you, you can be drinking as much fluids as you want when you're out there on the job, but like one, like one hot day on the job is putting you behind for like two days and, and you know? becoming acclimated to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. Like, like it's like what I learned about hiking shape, like mm -hmm. mountain shape. Motherfuckers are in a different type of shape out there hiking mountains. Out Fuck yeah. Same thing with you. Like you're in a different type of shape. Mm -hmm. Same thing with me. I'm in a different type of shape. Same thing with CrossFitters or bodybuilders. It's like you're just in different type of shape, and that's part of the process of working. So when you're out there, though, if you're out on a roof for 8, 10, 12 hours a day, but you better make sure that, like, you have enough to eat and enough to drink. Yep. And it's like, well, if you still don't feel great, Oh, then you're not doing a good job of the first two. It's not like I can, it's, there is no calculation for how much water, fluids, uh, anything like that, that you're losing other than taking the next step and find, doing a salt test like you did. Yeah. Right. Finding all that information out. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's kind of that thing like Rich Piana said, if you're trying to get bigger and you think you're eating enough and you're not getting any bigger, eat more. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> literally that's the bro signs portion of it all you know yeah and they call it bro signs because there's no there's no book on any of this information you literally have to trial and error your own body yeah that's all bro science is is trialing and erroring your own body mm -hmm. this didn't work man this was great okay cool jot it down now you're running an experiment and it's you a bro not a scientist not a fucking college graduate or anything but you can figure things out as long as you fucking document it yeah bro science legit which still works it does my entire fucking career is built on bro science my every one of my races is built on bro science and 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 that's why it's like people demean it or make it sound like these fucking dumb meathead dickheads mm -hmm. it's like well yeah but not really because as long as i document how something made me feel my all of every single piece of information that i did the amount of foods i ate well i don't need to be a scientist to know that i ate 10 ounces of chicken and fucking 10 ounces of sweet potatoes yeah. and this in each meal, as long as that's documented, document my weight, I document my training session, I document how I feel, I document every little piece of my day, how I slept, what injections I took, what time I took them, what orals I took, how much fluid I ingested. I document all that shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, you are running a science experiment. Yep. You are not a scientist though. You are a bro. Yep. Bro science. <laughs>